Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, since Easter Monday we have heard day after day in the Acts of the Apostles about the Apostles' untiring determination to spread the good news of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yet very early on in their preaching mission, Peter and the Apostles began to face the same hostility Jesus faced in his ministry. Just yesterday, we heard how the Sanhedrin and the high priest treated the apostles. They imprisoned them for their authoritative, commanding, and courageous preaching. However, God sent an angel to free the apostles from prison and told them to continue to preach about the new life available in Jesus Christ. And indeed, upon being freed from prison, they went right back into the marketplace to begin preaching again. Today we heard how they were brought back before the high priest and Sanhedrin and threatened. But we heard also the apostles courageously saying, we must obey God rather than man. And they resumed their preaching. We are all called to the same courageous conviction of the apostles preaching the truth without compromise. In all our Christian activities of evangelization, we must, like the apostles, listen and obey God rather than men. When the earthly powers seek to silence the message of the gospel, we must preach it all the more passionately. In our present day, in many places of the world, the gospel message is under attack by the earthly powers. We see the message of life being silenced. The church's teaching on sexual morality and marriage is labeled as intolerant hate speech. And unfortunately, we see many Catholics buying into the secular agenda. Many Catholics claim that the church's 2,000-year-old message is wrong and that we must change our teaching to fit the secular thinking. But Jesus, our master and teacher, explains the consequences for abandoning his teaching. We read today in the gospel, Jesus himself saying, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the rage of God remains upon him. So we must worry if we preach anything other than his gospel. We must not be afraid to engage our fallen away Catholic family members. It is not sinful or judgmental to teach Christian morality or to correct those who are in error. It is an act of love to help someone in error to return to the truth. In order for us to be like Peter, Paul, and the apostles, we must be courageous and competent. Sometimes we don't pass on the faith as effectively because we really don't understand the faith as well as the we should. Let us take time to start the faith. Start not just what the church teaches, but why she teaches us. Let us read the Catechism, listen to solid lectures on the faith, discuss the finer points of church teaching with each other. So many of us know that the church's message leads to moral and spiritual freedom, but we lack the confidence in spreading that message. Why? Because we don't take time to study and understand what the church teaches. So dear friends, today I challenge each and every one of us not to be afraid to preach the word of God. The truth we proclaim that emanates from our personal experience with the risen Lord is impossible to stop if we believe in it and proclaim it with conviction. Let us study the faith. Let us pass on the faith. 
for it is the message that leads to eternal life for the glory of God and salvation of souls.